Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and we're here with a video with all the items and all the animals of the Europe pack. If you want to see an overview of all the stuff you are getting with the free update 1.8, I uploaded a different video on the channel for you to watch to see everything new in free update 1.8. This video is all about the free stuff and animals in the Europe pack. So without further talking, let's just go and jump into it. As you can tell right over here, we have this European fairy zoo entrance. So there are two different things. We have a uh, coach zoo entrance. You have this fairy zoo entrance. Uh, so you can just connect a path right to it right over here and a path right to it right over here. Or you have a decorational fairy right over here, scenery item, or a coach like this. Obviously, they are all recolorable, but it's very cool and, and, and a different way of having a zoo entrance for your zoo. I do really like it that we have some different variations um, with these items right over here. So the pack also comes along with uh, two new enrichment items. Uh, this one is the goat climbing mountain. This one can be used by the Ebex and the doll sheep. And right over here, there is a scarecrow feeder, which can be used by the follow deer and the Ebex. Uh, some really cool enrichment items. This one is obviously uh, just to eat from, but I absolutely love this one. And this one is uh, for them to uh, really uh, jump and climb onto, which I absolutely love on uh, both the uh, doll sheep and the ebay so that is just really really cool other thing that you are getting with the european pack is this new bin and uh, this is a heater uh, that is just really cool this one actually also really works as a heater so uh, yeah you can have a nice a terrace on the outside with some cool heaters to make sure that you guests, your guests will not uh, complain about the cold or anything like that. Something else new with the Europe pack is uh, this really cool food truck. You can use these new shop counters that we got with the free update and just put that one right inside of here and have a really cool food truck. I will show an example uh, later on throughout this video, but it looks absolutely fantastic. And this one you can also, of course, recolor in uh, any color you like. I love it that these engines that come with uh, <laughs> with some audio as well. That I, I really do like that. That is definitely a really cool surprise. So the pack also comes with some decorative shields right over here. And the pack also comes with these flags. I was actually wondering like what is going on here, but I guess these are moving in the wind. So that is definitely something to keep an eye out for. These are all separate flags. You can also recolor and then you have these strings right over here. Uh, there are some festive lights right over here, but we get back to that in a later stage. Let me just first uh, show... Oh god, there's so much to show. Uh, these are some signs. You can uh, put these uh, together yourself. Uh, this one is probably a reward statue. Definitely looks really cool. And you probably got the uh, silver, bronze and gold version as well. If you do the time scenario. Now these decals are absolutely fantastic. You can now really give that extra touch to all your buildings. These, <laughs> I don't think I put them all down. I think I forgot a few because I didn't have that much space, but you get the idea of these new items. I think they look really cool. And you also have some corner pieces right over here. So you can really eat your heart out to create that extra little detail and to create that more older vibe to your buildings as well. I really do love these pieces. And this is a beautiful stone rustic wall set. Uh, I did not put down every piece, but we know how the building sets look. So yes, you got every piece <laughs> that you normally have with every building set with this beautiful new stone rustic wall set. I really love it. And coming also with these non-grid pieces to uh, get a little bit more freedom while building. Really love it that we have these pieces now for basically every base game wall set, which is absolutely fantastic. And here are some uh, new signs of the pack. These are all coming along with the animals. 
There are some uh, clocks and some other decorational pieces right over here as well, which I absolutely love. Look at these small little candles right over here. They look really, really neat. Little lantern, absolutely love this one as well. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Now these are actually ceiling lights, so these are upside down, but just so you know. And there is this uh, ceiling fan as well, coming with separate pieces, which I absolutely love. There's a planter right over here with a separate mulch piece. And here are some other decorational pieces for your walls, for example. And these pieces can, of course, also be recolored to whatever color you want them to be. Also, there's this beautiful clock that you can now use to decorate your walls and, and your zoos with, which I absolutely love. And then there are a lot of festive lights. I should definitely just... Uh, go and make it dark for just a little bit to show you guys you can also recolor these you can also recolor the lights and you can also recolor these new signs that are all lighting up as well and now you can see these pieces as well that they're also lighting up uh they look absolutely fantastic same goes for these uh signs they look really really cool so yeah a lot of different things that are lighting up to get that festive vibe going on into your zoos and then there are these market pieces I, i'm not really sure if i say that right but you can obviously recolor these as well to create these little market stalls uh, these belong to it as well i'm not really sure if these are recolorable no these oh wait maybe they are of course, everything is recolorable in this pack. It's, ooh, that definitely looks really nice how you can recolor them. Uh, there's a little uh, decorational flag right over here. And then you have these uh, marquee pieces as well to uh, to create your tents and stuff with. I think they are meant to be like that. So yeah, definitely a lot of stuff to also create these small little Christmas markets to your zoo if you want to. And then we move over to bridge pieces. Now, these are absolutely amazing. I think they are definitely going to be super useful. There are a lot of different type of pieces and many pieces are also, again, recolorable. So obviously you can go for a blue bridge or a purple bridge or whatever you want it to be. Uh, you can eat your heart out with uh, creating bridges in your zoo as well. There's a bunch of railings right over here as well. And then we go to these kind of pillars to create some foundations for your bridges as well. Of course, there are bridge pieces right over here. They look absolutely amazing. And obviously these are all recolorable as well to your likings. There are a lot of small little pieces. These are all recolorable as well. Decorational pieces here as well and then we have this beautiful dutch bridge which we absolutely love remember Silv in koali zoo how he started with a, a beautiful bridge like this it looks absolutely amazing so yeah this is definitely a piece you can just use like this in your zoo as well this is not modular so you uh, you can just put this run right away down if you want to and then there is this beautiful gondola you can also put in your zoo you can also recolor this one and there's a separate cushion and a separate hat right over here for a decorational purpose, I guess. And then there are these uh, roof gables, definitely something you see a lot in the Netherlands. And you can also recolor these as well to uh, decorate your roofs with. But I can see some items being used in different ways, also for interiors and stuff, I think. That can definitely be really, really a nice uh, decorational purpose for your zoos as well. And then we go over to these shutters right over here. There are some really small little pieces coming along with these shutters. I can totally see people using these small little pieces for any... Uh, for other things in their zoos as well. Obviously also recolorable. And then we have a bunch of glass pieces which look absolutely amazing as well, but definitely in the Europe pack. So uh, yeah, <laughs> they are not really plain. They come along with the animals as well, but they are really cool 
images i do have to say they look absolutely fantastic they are really really gorgeous and then last but not least there are also three different type of trees being added i think yes this is the olive tree so you have four different variations of the olive tree they look absolutely amazing really do love these trees and then you have the uh, London plane tree also being added with the Europack. Also really beautiful tree right over here. And then last but not least is the cork oak tree also being added in the Europe pack right over here. Now I quickly just wanted to show how Frontier used it in a time scenario because it, it looks absolutely fantastic. Right over here is a food truck. As I said, you can also recolor the food truck, which will be absolutely amazing with these uh, shop counters, of course. And uh, yeah, they use these shop counters in so many different ways right over here. I really do like it. It's it's really... You're stuck. It's really cute looking. It looks... Uh, yeah, it looks really festive right over here. If you go into this time scenario, you will be absolutely amazed by how beautiful this one looks. It starts with snow and I think... What time was it? Like very early in the morning or something like that and it was ugh, it was just really beautiful with all the snow i highly recommend you uh, just to open the scenario and see what they've done with it it looks absolutely amazing i um i think they did a fantastic job with the theming of this pack i'm not really sure if it's like really zoo themed uh, we could definitely debate that like if it's really something do you see in a zoo i do feel it's more for like a theme park maybe but i've never seen a zoo having these kind of things here so so maybe i'm wrong maybe there are european zoos that also have like these christmas markets and stuff so definitely do let me know in the comments down below if that is the case and the same goes for these a little uh, city areas that they've built right over here in in this zoo it looks absolutely amazing as i sat like with the snow on it looks even more just wintry and festive it really uh, really gave a warm feeling uh but they did a really fantastic job with this map even though it's it doesn't feel really feel zoo-ish it really does look super amazing to have something like this like i could totally see people uh creating a city when uh right like before they enter the zoo or anything like that and this is the other side of the mountain uh with some gondolas and stuff i think it looks absolutely amazing even though it might not be super zooish D tell me tell me if you know zoos that have these kind of theming in their zoo i uh, i really do not know, but I think they really did a great job just uh, creating this whole city. So props to Frontier for doing that. So right over here, we have the European badger. Now, I really don't know what they did with the fur, but I think they look really, really good. And oh my goodness, just look at that little face. They look absolutely gorgeous, don't they? Really cute. I really like it that they added this animal in the game as well. It wasn't really high on my list, but I can totally, uh, I can totally see that people really do love some badges. Oh, you're going into your burrow. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Uh, are we going down with you? Oh no, <laughs> unfortunately not. Uh, let's see if we can find uh, some little baby badgers. All right, so this badger is not going to use the burrow to give birth. But oh my goodness, look at these little ones. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh my goodness, look at you. Oh, you're so adorable. <laughs> oh, they are really cute. I, we, I really am disappointed that they did not give birth in the burrow. She went into the burrow and I was like, are you going to give birth here? But no, she just went outside and lay down in front of here and uh, then gave birth to these little badgers. But yeah, these little badgers, ooh, little badgers coming to you with the Europe pack. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the European badgers. And then right over here, we have the Alpine e-bags. This obviously is the male. Look how beautiful this one is looking though. Oh yes, <laughs> that is so useful, isn't it? Oh, I love that animation, that's really cool. They look absolutely amazing. 
Look at you. They really did a great job with the animals. Definitely. Let's have a look at one of the females right over here. And this is the female alpine ebex. And if you're wondering, uh, I had to look it up, but these eyes are indeed the eyes of a female ebex. I, I, I'm, I was a little bit surprised about that, but I thought like <laughs> something is wrong. Maybe they messed up, but nope. These are the eyes of the alpine ebex. So That's actually really interesting. But they look really, really beautiful as well. Okay, <laughs> that is really steep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not really sure if you should do that. Uh, that was really, really steep. Look at how many there are. And they are grazing, actually. I can't remember if any animal did that before, but that looks just so realistic. I really love it. I hope that that is added to other animals as well. I really can't remember other animals doing this as well to be completely honest uh, but it looks really really good if they are doing that all together are you a little baby <gasps> you are oh my oh my goodness look at that oh my god you look adorable you are really cute i really love the grazing oh my they look really really adorable do we have anyone in the sun? Let me just move you. To just get a little bit of a better viewing of this one in the sunlight as well. You look really cute. You absolutely look amazing. <laughs> Definitely really nice. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Alpine Evex coming to you with the Europe pack as well. And right over here, we have the fire salamander. And I'm actually curious. I think this looks like a new exhibit, a little bit. I don't know how to call it, but this one has like this little spot right over here with water. There's a little waterfall coming out of here. I, I think this is a new one, but correct me if I'm wrong. And right over here is the fire salamander. It's actually moving a little bit more than most of the exhibit animals. I can't really get too close to it, I think. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> going through the ground. Uh, but they look really cool. Like, I'm not a super fan of exhibit animals, but I do think that some of you are very, very excited about the uh, fire salamander coming to you with your pack as well. Do let me know if you are, obviously. And let me know what you guys think in general of the fire salamander and how this one looks to you. I think it looks really, really good. And I love it how it moves a little bit more than most of the animals that we have seen so far in exhibit. So I do really like that. And then we have the follow deer, this beautiful, freaking beautiful animal. Oh my God, are you sniffing on that tree or is that just a coincidence? My goodness, look how pretty this one looks. Oh wait, is this a scratching tree? Oh, I think it is. Oh, I never used that one. My goodness, you look absolutely amazing. Uh, but one thing uh, Frontier has to work on are the, the noises because this is the exact same noise as my derpy bungo face. Something is going wrong here. You can't just use that. But gosh, they look amazing. I actually... Uh, they, these might be, uh, for some reason, my favorites of the pack. I don't know. They are just so gorgeous. I absolutely love these guys. They look so amazing. Let's have a look at the, uh, the little baby right over here. Just look how beautiful you look. Those eyes. Oh my god. I absolutely love you. But we, we need to talk about these, uh, these noises that you make. <laughs> That looks so cute though. Look at that. Can you stop running? I want you in the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just... Oh my God. You are really, really adorable. There you go. Look how pretty you are looking. They look really beautiful. I I do think that they are one of my favorites of the pack. 
Look how... I don't know what it is. Absolutely amazing. Really stunning creatures. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these follow deer in the Euro pack. Uh, am I the only one that feels like they just look absolutely insanely good? I don't know. I really do love them. And last but not least, we have the Eurasian Lynx. I know a lot of people really, really love the Eurasian Lynx coming to you with the Euro pack. They look absolutely amazing. I really do love how they are looking. I think they did a great job with the fur. I think it's very hard for like these really long hairs to get it exactly right in the game. Oh yeah, and the noises they make, that is correct. I had to look it up like, <laughs> like wait, what? Uh, but this is, they make really weird noises. <laughs> uh, but I think they really did a great job on the fur. I, I don't think you can get it like 100% right in a game, but I think they really come close to it. And I think they look just beautiful. Just look at that face. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, we're so lucky to see this. Hello, cutie. Oh my god, okay. Can we just uh, get out of your cam and just uh, go and follow? Oh my god, just look at this one. You're so adorable. Ah, they look really, really cute though. That is really amazing. I'm not really sure the, with the music in here if that is really what they prefer. <laughs> there's something here going on for some guests and we also have mom right over here they look really beautiful i think they did such a fantastic job on the eurasian links as well really do love them so yeah do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the eurasian links being added in the europe pack as well let me know what your favorite animal or favorite pieces are from the new pack. Are you getting the pack? Are you not getting the pack? Let me know why in the comments down below. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.